Welcome. Today's training is on Dentrix Lab Case Manager. How to utilize it properly uh, from a workflow perspective from the appointment book, as well as how to manage your cases in the actual module itself and keep track of those. So the first thing that we're going to start with is using the Lab Case Manager from the appointment book. So we're going to use our test patient, Luke Skywalker here. I'm going to double click on his appointment. All right, let's say that he had a crown prep done today. On the lower right hand side of your appointment information box, you're going to click on the button that says patient lab cases. A new box will appear and this will allow you to both attach and create cases for this patient. Now you can create a new lab case from the actual lab case module itself. However, from a workflow perspective, I do recommend that you use it the way I'm showing you right now, but I will show you the other way when we get into the module itself. So from this screen, you're gonna click on the lower left button, create case. It will default with today's date, the primary provider of the patient. However, you can switch to a different provider if you choose. Select the respective category that this falls under. Keep in mind that this is something that is blank when you first load Dentrix, and so this is something that does need to be set up by the practice, which I'll show you a little bit later in our session. So this is a crown prep that we did today, so I'm gonna select crown and bridge. I can insert the date line and type my notes to the lab. However, um, you can use custom notes. So if you click on custom notes, you can create templates to use for yourself for the future so that you don't have to type it each time. To add a new template, simply go to the setup button in the lower left-hand corner of your box. And then in the upper right-hand corner, you're gonna click new. Type your note. and then click OK. It's now an available template for you to choose right here. To grab it, you're gonna click on the template that you want and then click OK. You can add any notes that you want to after that as well. Down below, you're gonna see the lab you can choose. Again, this is something that does need to be set up. Pick your lab. And then on the lower right-hand side, you're gonna click on the date that you expect it back from the lab. If you want to print the prescription to attach with the case itself, you would check this box and it will print that um, lab prescription for you and you can attach it if you're sending it um, electronically via email or some other format you can uncheck this and it will not print it for you over here you can include the enclosures that you are putting in this case and click ok This case is now available for this patient in the Attach Lab Cases box. To attach it to an appointment, I'm gonna show you that next. We're not gonna attach it to the prep appointment. We're gonna attach it to the seat. So I'm simply gonna cancel out of that box now that that lab case has been created. And I'm gonna click on Schedule Next. And we're gonna book the crown seat appointment. So it brings up a blank new appointment information box and you can fill all of your information in. I'm gonna grab my crown seat. Okay. And then down here where it says patient lab cases, I'm gonna click on that button once again. I'm going to single click to highlight the case. It will be blue once it's highlighted. And then click okay. That case that I had created is now attached to this appointment. 
I'm going to go ahead and pinboard it and drag it into the appropriate time frame. You'll notice that the symbol on the appointment is white with a blue L. That indicates that the case has been sent to an actual lab and has not yet been received. For a full description of all of the icons for lab cases that you can view on an appointment, you can go to the help section, go to your index, type in lab cases, and you want to click on viewing appointments attached to. And right here, you're going to see all of the different icons and colors and what they mean for each appointment. So now that we have Luke's uh, appointment set, let's fast forward to the future. Let's say that Luke now, um, we're getting closer to the time of his appointment and the lab has come back and we've received his case. The next step is to check his case in. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can do it from the appointment or you can go to your lab case manager and view cases, especially if you have a lot of cases coming from a lab versus trying to find them from the appointment book. Again, I'll show you both ways. So the first way is to double click on the appointment, come down to the patient lab cases button, Highlight the case you want to receive or check in. Double click on it. And down here in the lower left, you're gonna see where it says receive case. When you're in this screen, it's important that you fill in as much information as you possibly can. A lab case assign number is great in case there is a question about it and you need to reference that. What is the fee that your lab is charging you for this? Your initials that you've checked it in. And then click OK. You'll note now the icon on the appointment for the lab case has changed colors. It's green background with a white L. That means the case has been received. So it's really helpful for the administrative team to be able to look at the schedule for the day before, or if they call two days ahead of time, and see which cases have been checked in and which ones haven't, so they can verify it before they pick up the phone and confirm the appointment. Next, we're gonna go into the actual lab case um, module itself. So from your toolbar, it is the icon that looks like two teeth and two green arrows. If you hover over it, the tooltips will pop up and it says lab case manager. So while we're in this screen, let's look at some things. Let's first go to the setup. So again, when you're first using the lab case manager, there is some setup required. So let's say you just started using a new lab or you haven't set any of them up at all yet. Before you set up the lab, you'll wanna make sure that you add the shipping method that that lab will be using, as well as the shade guide that they will use. So that when you create the lab, you can select the appropriate items for it. Shipping methods, it's really simple. Click add to put a new one in. Same with shade guides. Put the shade guide name in. And once you have it in there, you can edit the shades and continue to add them. And once those two are done, then you can set up the lab. You'll click add. Type your lab name, and again, then you can select your shipping method and the shade guide that you use. Note, it will not let you add a lab without 
assigning a shipping method and shade guide. Next, I want to talk about how you're going to view this list of lab cases. So when we click on view at the top menu, we have three tabs of different options that we used to filter or refine the list of what we see. So right now on my general options tab, I have all labs, all patients, all send methods, all dates, all receive options, and all um, miscellaneous options, okay? So in the miscellaneous options, you can choose to exclude received and finished cases if you just want a list of pending cases that are out and have not yet been checked in. Perhaps you want to see a list of all the received cases that have not yet been delivered. Once a crown or restoration has been delivered in the patient's mouth, it's really important that you complete the process so that you can properly manage your lab cases. We're going to talk about finishing cases next. So again, these are all of your filters to be able to view your lab case manager the way that you want it. While we're in here, a couple of items. If you want to create a new case from scratch, you can do it right here. So remember how I said you can do it from the appointment or you can do it from the lab case manager. So you'll type in your patient's last name. Once you find your patient, click OK, and then you can begin to create their lab case. Now, I'm going to refresh this so I can see the lab case that I had just made from my appointment book for my patient. So right now, let's look at these columns that we have. If I go back to setup, I'm sorry, up to view, right down here on the general options tab, you can click which columns you want to show. So right now, these are the columns that I have chosen to show in my view. You can add any of these other available columns and you can choose to remove any of these. So right now I can see by looking at my case that it was created on March 30th. The patient has an appointment. It has been received. And here's my initials that it was received. It was estimated to be received on 4-8 and it did come in earlier. So we know that this case is already in. But I can see that it's not yet finished. I'm gonna go back to the appointment book for a moment. Once I go to the appointment book, let's say that we're again fast forwarding to the future and we just completed this appointment for Luke to seat his crown. We have two options. The first thing that we can do, we're gonna double click on his appointment once again and click on patient lab cases. The case that we're working with, we'll double click one more time. And we have two options here. When you click receive case, we can either finish this because it's been permanently seated in the patient's mouth and everything was good, or if there was a problem, you're gonna click return case to lab. When you click return case to lab, it will allow you to add more notes to your original one, pick a new receive date, estimated receive date from the lab, and it will change the icon on the next appointment that you attach it to back to the white background with the blue L. Once the case has actually been completed, when you click receive case, you'll pick the option finish case. Click OK. And then you can set your appointment complete. Now, when we go back to our lab case manager, 
I'm going to refresh it. You're going to see a finish date in this column over here. So this case has been completed. It was received and it was finished. Now, remember how we talked about the view for the lab cases? So again, you don't have to look at all of those cases when you're loading this. More than likely, by default, you will take finished cases off of this list. That way you're only viewing active pending cases. That's the basics of Dentrix Lab Case Manager, using it and doing some basic setup. Feel free to reach out to us for more training or if you have any questions. Hopefully you were able to take something back to your office and start to manage your cases a little bit better.